Hi guys, now we are going to derive the EMF equation of transformer. Okay, so to derive the EMF equation of transformer, let us consider the magnetic core of the transformer like this. Okay, to which the winding is wounded over here. Winding is wounded over here like this and another winding is wounded at this point like this. Okay. So, to here, at here, a source is connected. Source is connected like this. And to this winding, load is connected. Okay. A winding which is connected to source is called primary winding. And a winding which connected to load is called secondary winding. Let us assume that this is having n1 number of turns and here this winding is having n2 number of turns. Okay. So, a winding which carries both magnetizing component of current as well as load component of current is called primary winding. A winding which carries only load component of current is called secondary winding. Here primary in the sense it is performing more work when compared to secondary winding. Here secondary winding is carrying only load component of current whereas primary winding is carrying magnetizing component of current as well as load component of current. Okay, so what is magnetizing component of current? Magnetizing component of current I mu is the main cause for the flux. I mu is the cause of flux that is called magnetizing component of current. Okay, this is the cause of flux. Okay, so, whenever a voltage is given to the circuit, what happens is alternating nature of current will flow through the conductor which results in production of flux which in turn induces some EMF E1 in this conductor and the flux produced in the primary winding will flows like this and links with this conductor. This is the flux of I. Okay. So, which results in production of some EMF which is E2. Okay. So, here E1 is called self-induced EMF. Self-induced EMF. And E2 is called Mutually induced EMF. Mutually induced EMF. Okay. Now, what we are going to do is, we are going to derive the EMF equation. So, what is E1? We are going to derive what is E1 and what is E2. Okay. So, here what is I mu? I mu is a alternating nature of current flowing through the circuit. Am I correct or not? I mu is the alternating nature of current flowing through the circuit which is the main cause for the production of flux and that is given by I mu is equal to I m sin omega t where I m is the maximum amplitude of current sin omega t. Okay. So, from that, what is MMF in the primary winding? MMF. What is MMF? Magnetomotive force. Magnetomotive force is given by in the primary winding MMF is N1 into I mu. N1 into I mu. So, which is equal to N1 into what is I mu? I mu is I m sin omega t. I m sin omega t. Okay. So, the flux is given by flux phi is equal to, what is flux? 
MMF by reluctance. Reluctance is opposition. MMF is the amount of work done in moving a vapor in the magnetic circuit. MMF is equal to N1 into I mu sorry N1 into I m sin omega t by R. R is the reluctance. Okay. Now N into I by R MMF by reluctance. Maximum current by reluctance which is equal to phi is equal to phi m sin omega t. Phi m sin omega t. So, this is the total amount of flux that is flowing through the magnetic core of the transformer. Magnetic core of the transformer. What is the total amount of flux is flowing? Phi is equal to phi m sin omega t. Okay. So, after uh, flux is produced in the conductor and EMF is induced, that is self-induced EMF. Self-induced EMF. So, in general, the magnitude of EMF is given by Faraday's second law. So, what is the magnitude of EMF? EMF is directly proportional to rate of change of flux linkages. Here, E1 is equal to minus N1 into d5 by dt. Minus N1 into d5 by dt. So, E1 is equal to minus N1. What is minus N1? N1 is the number of turns in the primary winding into d by dt of what is the flux? Flux is equal to phi m sin omega t. Phi m sin omega t. Okay. So, where phi m is the constant, phi m is the constant minus N1 into phi m into d by dt of sin omega t, sin omega t is equal to d by dx of sin x cos x here, sin omega t is equal to cos omega t into omega. On differentiating the sin omega t with respect to dt, we will get like this. Okay. So, what I am doing is, I am writing this uh, equation like this, the expression like this. N1 into omega phi m, see here, I am writing minus cos omega t as sin omega t minus pi by 2, sin omega t minus pi by 2. So, what is this one? The EMF induced in the primary winding. Okay. So, when the EMF will be maximum? When the EMF will be maximum in the circuit? Whenever omega t is equal to whenever omega t is equal to phi, then maximum EMF will be induced. At omega t is equal to phi, E1 max, what about E1 max? E1 max will be N1 omega phi m n1 omega phi m okay here what is omega omega is angular velocity which is given by omega is equal to 2 pi f so e1 maximum is given by e1 maximum is given by n1 omega into 2 pi f. Okay. So, here in this case, we have to consider the RMS value E1 RMS is equal to E1 RMS is equal to what is the RMS value? E maximum by root 2. That is E1 max by root 2. E1 max by root 2. So, from that E1 RMS is equal to E1 RMS is equal to what is E1 max? N1 omega 2 pi f by root 2 root 2 so which is equal to which is equal to 
मैक्सीम फ्लक्सीटी बीएम इज द मैक्सीम फ्लक्सीटी ऑफ द मेटीरियल And A is the cross-sectional area of the magnetic core. Cross-sectional area of the magnetic core. See here, we cannot vary the flux density of the magnetic material. Okay, once we put, we design the magnetic core, we cannot vary the flux density of the magnetic material. and once we put into operation we cannot change the cross sectional area of the magnetic core okay so we cannot change bm and we cannot change ye so always the flux is a constant that is the reason why transformer is a constant flux device okay that is the reason why transformer is a constant flux device okay so what is e1 rms now from the above equation e1 rms will be 4.44 n1 bm into an where an is the net cross sectional area so a into f bm into a into f so this is the em equation of a primary winding okay similarly at the secondary winding also the emf equation is e2 rms e2 rms the only thing is each and everything is the same the only thing is in case of a secondary winding the number of turns in the transformer will changes that is n2 bm into a f okay so this is the emf equation of a transformer okay here one more thing is so e1 and e2 are induced simultaneously so e1 is the self induced emf and e2 is the mutually induced emf Mutually induced EMF. Okay, these two are the EMF equations of a transformer. Okay, the EMF induced in primary, the EMF induced in primary. These are the most important things which you have to keep in your mind. EMF induced in primary always lags. always lags behind flux quantity behind flux by 90 degrees okay behind flux by 90 degrees that is emf induced in the primary winding that is uh, self induced emf e1 always lags behind the flux by 90 degrees so similarly e2 also lags behind the flux by 90 degrees okay e2 also same thing lags behind lag 90 degrees see if this is the flux flowing through the magnetic core of the transformer let us say phi is the flux then in the primary winding the emf induced is lags by 90 degrees this is a 90 degrees angle so v1 is equal to 
even. Similarly, which is minus even, sorry, which is minus even. And here, MF induced in the primary winding is this is E1 and this one is the only thing is the only thing is E1 and E2 are induced simultaneously okay so the EMF primary EMF will induce so the primary EMF lags behind the flux by 90 degrees that is this primary EMF lags behind the flux by 90 degrees and secondary EMF lags behind the flux by 90 degrees. Okay, Bo both these two EMFs are lags behind the flux by 90 degrees. Okay, so E1 RMS, E1 RMS and E2 RMS, these two are collectively known as the EMF equation of transformer. Okay, so what is E1 RMS? 4.44 N1 BM into a into F. Okay. And E to RMS is 4.44 N to BM A into F. Okay. So, this is the EMF equation of a transformer. Thank you.